All right, welcome back guys to part three of Dream. I need to put this away because I don't need it anymore. We are finished with the terrace walkway. Now I'm gonna go do the puzzles. You guys haven't seen the puzzles yet in this playthrough. You may have seen it somewhere else on the internet, but I have yet to play them and I'm going to. And the puzzles should take us, well, after another series of events, we should be able to get to possibly the nightmare. I'm imagining there's gonna be a nightmare coming up. Because most of Act 1 is complete. We'll find out. We will find out. But as you can see down here, whoop, kind of, you can't really see because you see there's like some sketchy shit down there. Yeah, that's where we need to go. And if you read it here, it says underground. The Fey Mill, I think it's Mill. The Fey Mill were the tribes that lived in this part of the desert park. They dwelled underground as they believed gods walked sand above. I see To see the outside world, young disciples had to prove they were worthy. Some had no interest in traveling to the surface. This meant they would never see the sun or the stars. Can you imagine? What a way to live. I really want that. Look at that. There's a... I want to name, want to name dream, journal, dream journal entries over there. Let's go get it. Alright, well I'm not sure if we can get it at this time actually. I think we may have to wait. So let's just wait. We'll get it after. Let's go to the maze. It will be... Oh, I already used that joke, didn't I? Never mind. It won't be amazing this time. Alright, so you can see that we're coming up right now on the entrance to one of the mazes. So we're just going to come on down through and just walk through this maze. And it's all... Which way do we go? I don't know. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just walk because we don't know where we got to go. I don't remember. Fuck, man. I, I can't remember what I ate for breakfast and that was five minutes ago. I wonder where all of these wires lead to. Is someone living down here? All right, so after hopping around a bit, we have our entrance. We have made our way to this thing. What's that noise? So as you can see, there's one, two, three, four entries, four entrances to mazes. So we need to actually do four mazes. I'm gonna try and cut it up a little bit so you guys don't need to watch me painfully go through all these mazes. I mean, they're they're not. They're not exactly unenjoyable, they're just long. Whose computer is this? There's no point having a password if you stick it to the screen for anybody to see. You know what, Howard, you're very right. But at least he's running the proper operating system, HyperOS. So here we go. If you look on bottom, we got Dr. Dot Mason. And Dr. X289 is his password. There we go. We are in the computer. And what do we want to do? Well, there's no external data. Yet. Uh huh. That's a little uh, foreshadow for you. You don't have no one, no, you don't have any external data yet, but we're going to get some. I promise you. We will at least try to get some. Okay. Lights. Look at this. Our light, actually. This is the program we need to run. All the light sensors have been turned on for each maze. Smoke containment active. What the hell is a smoke? No. I guess it can't hurt to try turning the lights off. Though I'm not sure how. I don't remember seeing any light switches. The problem I have with that, uh, that particular line is he says, Smoke containment system, what is a smoke? How do you know it was a smoke? Because if I read that, I would have assumed it was just, you know, smoke like what the hell is smoke and the generator moves that's cool it's vibrating all over the place you should be able to stand on it and get vibrated as well it'd be fun just vibrating all over the place but no anyway it doesn't happen let's go so what happens is you walk and you touch the light and the light goes out oh right so they turn off as i touch them so i just need to run through the maze to turn them all off doesn't sound too hard all right so it doesn't sound too hard until the smoke comes to get ya. What the hell was that noise? Holy shit! Okay, so you see, that's the the smoke. And he, he will come after you and he will try and kill you. But we don't want to die, so we're gonna run. 
I noticed they actually changed the the sound of the smoke. It sounds a bit scarier now. I mean, it's it still was pretty creepy before, but it was kind of a lower grumble. But this is more of a, a growl, in my opinion. I like it. The smoke looks a bit different too. I think maybe it was just the lighting. Wait, was that about half of them? Shit, I think I lost count. Ah, look what we found over here. A new part of the German journal. Smoke. To see smoke in your dream indicates some sort of trouble that is entering your life. You are suffering from confusion and anxiety. In particular, if the smoke is black, then it could mean that you're not seeing some situation or problem clearly. To overcome or get past black smoke shows you are maturing and taking charge of your life. Maze. To dream of a maze represents a situation where you can't focus on anything apart from getting the task at hand over with. This shows you need to finish something before you can move on. Alright, so you can see it's kinda of hard to hear with the music. I really think there should be an option for music to be to be turned down a little bit. Also, you guys kinda of made a mistake right here, you forgot to erase that part of the PNG. Alright, so let's go get the rest of our lights turned off before the smoke gets us. I don't know, I'm just running around here now. And I don't really have a sense of direction. That's the uh, the upper entrance, I believe. But it's closed off now, so we can't go out there. We have to finish turning off our lights. So there's the smoke. And he ran away again. We can actually chase him. I actually enjoy... Oh, crap. I think he went... Oh, there he is. You can chase the smoke around, which is kind of funny, because then you can never get killed by it. Or maybe you can. He's, he's gone down this way. Get him. Get him. Yeah, I like the smoke. I, I like the new smoke sounds. They sound a lot more intense. A lot more powerful. It sounds a lot more evil, actually. Oh, there he goes again. Let's follow him. <laughs> the number one way to not get killed by smoke. Yeah, the smoke actually lights up now when it comes towards you. Before it was just dark. So we're still missing one. Or more. Aha, I see it. How do I get to it? Oh, it's getting me. And I'm dead. Alright, how many's left? Three. It didn't kill me. Good. Good, it didn't kill you. Now we got three three lights left to turn off. Where the hell are they? Oh, look, look at that. One light, two light, three light. Here we go. Die, smoke. Yep, I know. Okay, so we, we've killed the smoke. Well, it's contained it. It's a smoke containment. Something, something. And there we go. Alright, the other mazes are kind of repetitive. So I'll kind of just run through them. Probably won't say too much. This one, as you can see, is has a more foresty, jungly kind of feel to it. It's a more over overgrown. It's, it's a different feeling inside, I guess, a different atmosphere compared to the other one, which is kind of rocky. Ha! All right. Now that is maze number two down and done. Now we can move on to maze number three and four. Oh, it feels so close to me. I don't want to die. I'm too young. All right, here we are. We're back at the exit. That took me a while. Not really that long, I guess. 
All right, then. Two crazy demon ghost things successfully pacified. Only two left. Perfect. Okay. We'll go through the sand one. The sand one takes a long time because you have to crouch when you go through. Now, luckily, there is a, a there is this crouch crouch sprint you can do, which is which is which is good in my opinion because this one takes a while. But uh, it's not so bad. The smoke is hard to get away from in this one, though. We haven't done my favorite maze yet. You'll see that in very soon. Oh, I bet the smoke is going to come. Nope, shot JPEG. Alright, so apparently if you run and you kind of... Uh, when you get to the point where you need to crouch, if you're if you're not already crouching, you won't be able to crouch, you'll have to move back first. So, that's another thing that I've noticed. No! No! I didn't get the light. Crap. You bastard. You could go to hell. Alright, we got 59.8% of the lights turned off. So how the hell did Howard know that it was 50%? Roughly half of them, my ass. He didn't know how many lights were in here. He knows something we don't. Yeah, we're done! Thank you, Jesus. We are done with this maze. This very slow, painful maze. But have no fear, children, because the last maze is fun. That's right. I said it. It is a fun maze. Considering this is my dream, I seem to be giving myself some pretty arbitrary challenges. Probably get it from my parents. Alright, here we go. Look at this one. This one actually has a board that shows you exactly how to get all the lights. And it's actually a big grid, which makes it really easy. And not only that, but you get to do it while you're high off your fucking head. You ready? Oh yeah, here it goes. Ooh, must be some gas in here. Everything starts getting all trippy. And your head is moving sideways and you're woohoo. Yep, so as you can tell, this guy is getting kinda kinda loopy. Oh. Excuse me, sir. There you go. Aha! And that's how you get away from the smoke. Smoke can't hurt me. Nah, you can't hurt me. Huh. Yeah, half lights gone. Once again, you can tell that this guy is just. just. Just high, woohoo! It looks so fast when you run through this thing, man. You're like, looks like you're going like a million miles an hour. Makes me sad when you can't run. I wish there was an unlimited sprint. I know that unlimited sprint is a bit, uh, a bit far fetched. You know, we're not playing Battlefield or nothing, but I'm just really impatient sometimes, and I just need to just, just run. Boom! He sounds pissed off. I better get out of here. Why is that thing even here? Now, as you can see, it didn't take very long at all, and this is where the fun begins, guys. And there goes the last one. I should probably run the program on the computer again and see if I can find a way out of it now that all those mazes are locked up. It's true. He should run the program on a computer again, and it's fun to read the stuff that's actually coming up here. Sound identifier. Yeah, it just keeps going back and forth. I remember there was something here. They had corrupt spelt round. I think it's spelt right now. It was with a U before. Right here, you can see that there's some research going on. Yeah, he's doing his, his physics actually. On the bottom, it says that to change work is actually to change in kinetic energy plus the change in potential energy. And he's finding velocity and whatnot. 
Alright, so let's go back to the computer. Run that light program again. Alright, lost my mouse for a second. Oh, you can also read some documents. I didn't read any of the documents. Didn't show you. So here we go. Here's our light. Dot .exe Smoke containment successful. Smoke purging. Smoke purging successful. Whoa! What's going on? Ooh, snow is falling! I love Christmas! The music gets all cheery and, and like, you know, Christmassy. Makes me want to go ride on a one horse open sleigh. Can I leave now? I can jump. Aha! Would you look at that? We were warned about the effects of global warming, so we only have ourselves to blame. Now we can get that, uh, Still, oh, don't do I this. Actually quite like the snow. It's like looking there it at is. blank canvas. Aha. Here we go. This is our. You can do anything with a fresh start. Shut up, Howard. So long as you know what it is you want to do. <coughs> it's damn cold, though. <laughs> Stop talking. Okay, here we go. Computer. To see a computer in your dream symbolizes technology, information, and modern life. Hey, look at that. New opportunities are being opened to you. Controlling the computer mouse and my mouse at the same time. Alright. Thank you. Now I gotta log out of the computer. Now that's a glitch for you right there. And back to the invisible person that I am. Oh crap. Guys. Guys, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, bring it back to the computer again. Oh, shit. We got some problems. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, no. Uh, I guess we can just... Wake up? Will that, will that fix it? I don't know. This isn't supposed to happen. This is a glitch for sure. Haha. -ha. Alright, so I had, to, I had to wake up and then come back again. But here I am and I'm safe and sound. There's actually a little elevator that'll take you back down to the bottom if you need to go. But I know exactly where we need to go right now. Unless I'm mistaken. Oh, look what I found. Another dream journal entry. Cave. To dream that you are in a cave represents a need to introspect, usually revealing a more adventurous side to the dream. It signals self-discovery. Well, I wonder what I just discovered. Alright, so there is another area that appears that you can't go to. And... And that's that. So, so you can't actually go to this area. Now, I'm not sure if this is the last area. I don't know if this means that there, you know, is no final level. But hey, look what we found. Snow. To see snow in your dream signifies your obstacles and inhibitions. When you find this, try to leave the area as fast as you can so you can release and express these emotions and inhibitions. Alternatively, snow means that you're feeling indifferent, alone, and neglected. Well, as you can see, the audio or the text needs to be changed on that one. Well, what happened? You've reached the end of this build's story, but there might still be more to find. Thanks for playing, and let us know if you have any feedback. Alright, so did I just beat Dream? Is there no nightmare? Well. I'll tell you what, guys. This may or may not be the end of, of, uh, of my playthrough of Dream. If this, is, uh, if this is the end, then you will not see a part 4, but if I find out that there is more that I can do... I will most definitely do a part 4 and you guys can watch it. So thank you very much for watching part 3 of my dream playthrough. Goodbye. 
Okay guys, I just want to let you know that that is the end of Dream right now. So there is no Nightmare currently, but there will be probably fairly soon. They have it done, they just haven't, uh, they didn't release it in the current build. So says, uh, I was talking to Lewis and that's what he said. So I will definitely do the Nightmare as soon as it is released. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you later.